Before scan on guys, welcome back to another episode here on the Malazan server. And today we, well I did say in the last episode that we were going to be veering away from the cosmetic side of things. But in sec we're going to be doing a little bit of both. Um, the project that I actually want to be working on today is a cactus farm. So I've done the preparation and I've dug out a massive hole here in order for us to build enough layers going down. That way we don't have to extend it up too high because we don't want it sticking out like a sore thumb on our island. And the design I'm going for is very, very simple. It's just going to... I'll probably build a layer and then show you what it's like because it's extremely simple and it's going to be extremely repetitive. But the other thing I want to do is find some way of shipping the drops because obviously all the items are going to be dropping down below. We're then going to want them being shipped off to a building somewhere around here because I actually want to have a few different mini farms in the building so then these buildings are actually being used and are actually there for a reason as well as being cosmetic. Although my main priority up here is going to be cosmetic, um, having some functionality for the buildings is never a bad thing. So with the cactus farm, the main reason that we want one is for the green dye. Green dye to make cyan dye. Cyan, I really like the colour of. It's definitely one of my favourite colours. Um, and also the excess cactus we can ship off into composters to get ourselves some bone mills to use on our flower farm. Because we've got no steady source of bones and the standard skelly spawner setup is very, very slow to get bones. And this way it will be passively collecting whenever we're in the area. And cactus farms are great for it because they require no redstone. All it relies on is the blocks updating and then breaking automatically. That is it, pretty much. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do is I've got some glass smelting down below. Once I've got the resources on me to build the first layer, I'll bring you back for it. Alright then guys, so I think I've managed to get most of the supplies that I'm going to need on me right now. But what I am also going to need is a crafting table. Because first of all, what I want to do is make sure that we've got a surface that we can actually put water on. I'm going to have to half slab this area. So, because this is actually a slime chunk, so I'm actually getting slime spawned down here, which is really annoying. This is a stairwell that I actually dug up into the ocean floor. Um, I can't really remember why i done that, but I'm definitely going to have to figure out uh, a way to deal with that. But for right now, it can wait. So, we want these guys to come across like a so. And what we want to work out first of all is how the water streams are going to work. Because I'm not too sure on how I'm meant to be doing the water streams in order to get it all to funnel down to one singular point, which is where that scaffolding is now. Um, one good thing about having the jump boost is I can just hop up that sort of height uh, without worrying about making the half slab into a full block. But this floor is now going to be spawnable for slimes, which is unfortunate. So we may have to put in a killing mechanism, um, which may be an idea. But let's get some ice on us and say if we had probably not one there. Although we probably are going to need one there. Um, how will that work? Interesting. So if we then have one in each of these corners as well. Uh, you've got a still spot there. And it's still not... But then again, that's because it's washing down into there. Um, let me just bust a hole in there so I know what side it's going to be on that I need to go back to. And then we're going to need to replace this to stop it from flowing. Okay. So, we then do that. If we were to say, I didn't want to get rid of you. If we were to pick this up, put that up, and then put one up there. Interesting. And now we've got flying water coming down this way, so it is now pushing it over to here. And if we do the same for, say, this one here. How far are we getting? It's 
not too bad. Um, I'm fairly sure if I'd done the same with this one, it would work out the same as and we'll get the steel block and it will just get stuck here again. So we're probably not going to want to do that and it made no real effect on the flowing water at the end there. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. This is going to be a little bit of a pickle to try to figure out. Uh, how about if we had more than one bucket on us? That would be helpful. But we haven't, so... What can we do with this little gap here? If we were to, say, drop this section down... So all the items should, in theory, flow down to here, into this little gap down here. Yep, that works for me, and then we can just throw it into a bunch of hoppers. Say one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be about eight or nine hoppers, just to catch the runoff and then feed into an auto dispenser, which could then shoot it directly into a bubble elevator going towards the surface. I think that's going to be our best bet for the collection system, but now that we've actually got that sort of done and dusted out of the way, we can figure out, yeah, because the hoppers are all going to be going there. Obviously, we're not going to need any of the hoppers there. And then we can get started on the actual design, because I'm not too sure as to how many um, cactuses we're going to be able to fit onto each layer. So we're going to need them to be at least one away from the walls around the entire edge so ah, this is going to be let me try to figure out the placements rather than waste your time watching me um and ah through this all right then so i think i've mapped it out all right and let me just get some light for you guys to see i've messed about with the stone bricks and glass just so i can separate it now where each one of these glass panes are we're going to have sand sitting on the top they're one away from the edge, which means the cactus will be able to grow without the walls being affected. Well, without the walls affecting the cactus and making them pop off. And then with this spacing, Rob, we could actually have... Um, can we get a different block of choice on us? Let's just get some dirt. We could actually have another cactus in between and do a checkerboard pattern. But what will happen then, or what will likely be to happen is that when the cactus then gets broken off it will be more likely to fall on the ones diagonal to it at least with the way that we're going to have it set out here it is going to be a case that they are going to have enough room all the way around them for when they pop off and we're going to be having glass panes blocking them in all the way around every individual cactus so that way when it does pop off it's got no chance of flying off too far to the side and then again being destroyed on a cactus below. So we're just going to be stacking these layers up one on top of the other. And let me show you how we're going to be doing that. So we should have some cactus on us. Thank you. And I don't know when this happened, but why is it that you don't take damage from standing on top of a cactus anymore? Since when was that a thing? I noticed it the other day because uh, Mac was building, he's literally just built a massive cactus farm. And he says, well, why are you building one when um, I've just built like a massive one? You're more than welcome to help yourself to them. And I was like, well, if I was to never build a farm that he's built already, I wouldn't build any farms pretty much whatsoever. Because he's got quite a few farms up and running at his. He's way, way further ahead than I am at the moment. So um, I thought I'd go ahead because having this stuff at my home base and filling up my home base with little projects like this is always fun for me so I'm quite happy to go ahead with doing this sort of farm. Now the next layer we're going to want at least one above this so uh, temporary building blocks maybe yeah that works for me then we could do wait, do that thank you and thank you and thank you 
So I'm just going to want to cover these guys up. Really? And then we're going to... Did that one place? Yes, it did. Then we're going to want glass panes on top of these. Like so. And if you're wondering why I'm using glass panes, mainly because they've got a very small collision box. So the cactus is more than less likely... Ah, oh, that was just wrong. There should be a block on top of there. <coughs> Sorry. So yeah, with the glass panes, it's got much less of a collision box, so when the cactus does break off, it's not likely to then go hitting it and flying off in, ouch, a different direction. Now, we're in a little bit of stuck. Um, thank you, and up to you. I want to do that, and then we just break the stone blocks underneath. Like uh, so. We're not too worried about getting the stone blocks back. Yes, I did say that correct that time. Usually I say stone blocks black is what I've said in the past quite often. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're not worried about that. We've got ridiculous amounts of stone sitting in our storage. So do that, that, and that, and that. And then it's pretty much just rinse and repeat. We lay the sand, we lay the cactus, and we just build it up and up. And then after I've built it up, I'm going to be dropping down, taking out all of the tent box down below or it may actually be wise for us to do the layers of glass whilst we're doing this so um yeah i'll quickly show you out how, how, how we're going to be doing this and it probably would have been better off me leaving out the stone blocks on top because what we're going to want to do is actually wrap the entire thing uh, probably not on the edges because it doesn't really matter if they hit the edges over this side they're just going to go flying out anyway so what we want to do is now reverse what we just done and then we're going to really again with that and then we're just going to want to wrap glass panes all the way around and I think we are good it looks like it and then what we want to do is then bust out all of these stone blocks And then what that leaves us with is perfectly squared little areas where the cactus can break off, hit the glass pane and then drop directly down. Rather than it popping off and falling down at an angle and um, more than likely landing on cactuses below and destroying the block, it will actually just hit the glass panes and just drop straight down. And the reason how comes we're not worrying about the edge is because it can just hit the edge and fall straight down. Because you've got to remember that them stone blocks obviously aren't going to be there it's just going to fall directly into the water stream so now what i can do is say i'm going to get the rest of these layers put in probably as high as i feel it should go before it starts looking ridiculous well ridiculously cosmetic wise ridiculously cosmetic wise is that well yeah i think you know what i meant to say anyway okay so i've been at for a good about hour and a half to two hours to actually get this thing stacked up i have no idea how many layers it is it's 21 per layer and i'm estimating that there's around about 15 or about 15 to 20 layers worth so it's not an overly large size and you've got to take in consideration that cactus grows very very slowly and this is by no means a lossless farm design like as you can see there we've got one sitting on just a glass edge there and one there, one there, um, got one on that one, none on that one, none on that, none on that, and none on quite a few of them, but yep, um, you are still getting a few of them caught, and each time I come down I'm picking up about 20 or so, but we I have also got this issue with the water, which is starting to bug me, there's one section of the water in this corner right here, and one section in the corner right here, which is flowing the wrong way. It's actually flowing inwards. And I honestly have no idea how to circumvent that to stop it from happening. The um, thing is, if I add any more water streams, it's going to end up overflowing. So if I put one, say, in there, do you reckon that would work? Hopefully. Um, we can find out anyway. See what happens. 
Okay, so that's not overflowing. I did take out these corner blocks to make sure all of this center thing was flowing. That seems to be alright. Are we getting pushed this way now? Okay, that seems to have done the trick. So, if we just do the same for this corner here. Set the bus. Oh, I only wanted two. Um, now I'll get rid of that piece of sand. And yes, it is just a two. We can do that. And then hopefully that should have fixed up problems with the water. Seems to be flying out to there now. Excellent. And then we've got a little section under there. Oh, I'm in fly mode. Just get out of fly mode. There we go. Um, yeah, when you need them. Books. Okay, I, I'm sort of reading midway of whatever conversation them two are having. <laughs> I always end up doing that. It sort of catches my eye. And sorry about having the idol in my offhand. I know it takes up quite a large chunk of the screen. Now, as soon as I hit record, it did start raining, which is just unfortunate, but I really couldn't be asked to pause and wait till daytime. And there's a couple of other guys on doing bits and pieces, so I didn't want to bother them and asking them to sleep. Um, can we get some glass? Thank you. And then what we've got is a hole over here. This leads down to a soul sand elevator where them items are going to be getting pushed after I take out this scaffolding. Now don't worry about the odd bits there because obviously we're going to be encasing this and I've only gone up so high because I didn't want this thing sticking out like a sore thumb. And then we're going to want these guys, we can swap out the blocks underneath when I design this building that this thing's actually going in. So if we do want these, say up to there and we're probably going to want a second row of chests for the first, say, three. Should be more than enough. Have, how many hoppers we've got? We've got ten hoppers. And then what we're gonna want is the two composters on the end one here. And then a few hoppers into these chests like so. And then feeding its that's not going to work, is it, if I do it like that? Well, that's just wrong. Um, how can we do this? So, that's going to have to go like that, which means we're going to need a few more hoppers, unfortunately. Um, I don't think there's any way around that. Not unless we already have one on the very end for bone mill. But I'd really like to have two. So... Yeah, I'm just going to have to make some more hoppers. <laughs> and then we could do that. So this is going to have to come up just a little bit higher. Like so. And then this is going to run along here. So just in case that. And then we can go... Like so. And then hopefully we should see some bubbles come up from the soul sand that's down at the bottom. Can we see any bubbles? Is that going to be a thing? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> so now we've got the bubbles. That leads up to here. We're going to need a few more hoppers to run across. Yeah, just pointing down into these chests because then we've got, what is it, six double chests for cactus and two double chests for bone meal. Um, a little bit wary as to how close these buildings are going to be because obviously we're going to need at least one layer for the glass which I actually want to encase this thing in and then another layer for details for this building so I may have to shift this entire thing over by a few blocks but that's something to worry about another day um, as for now we've got that elevator ring we're going to want to grab some more hoppers actually let's quickly hop down to our storage room by the way, I do bits and pieces um, off camera, like cosmetic wise, that I don't tend to show off too much. Like this elevator here that came down, this entire hallway wasn't done, so I redone this. This is a doorway that leads up to a ridiculously long spider, to a ridiculously long minecart track, which goes all the way over to Max House, I do believe. And then we've got the Skelly Farm, which is all the way down there in the pitch blackness. So. Yeah, I did end up decorating this whole hallway because when I was coming down here, this area wasn't done. 
and after I had done the portal area, I wanted it to sort of match and sort of flow in. So yeah, that's something that I've done off camera. It's just little bits and pieces like that that I tend to not bother showing. Um, let me get rid of some of them. And we came down for hoppers. Have we got any hoppers? Uh, not really. Um, we should be able to make some though. So let's grab okay, a bunch of these. And then we're going to want some iron. So grab some of you. Do that. And how many can we make? We can make all 19. Okay. And then the rest we could just throw into our redstone box because I believe that we're completely out. I love the jump boost as well. You can just hop over the fence and fly around. <laughs> it's a lot easier getting about and a lot, lot quicker getting about with all of the boost from the beacons. So it's always fun to work around here and I'm quite glad that I put the beacons in before I started building these because building the cactus farm was an absolute cinch being able to jump up higher than two blocks. So yeah, that came dead in handy. Um, hoppers. I heard a spider who's lurking just over there. There we go. And let's get a torch because this area is clearly not lit well enough or lit at all by the looks of it. If you're wondering about the carpet, just ignore that. I was just testing something out. And I'm not going to break that on camera. <laughs> okay, without me wasting any more of your time. Let's uh, put in these hoppers, so like so. But then going to have to get rid of this scaffolding. And quick as way down. All the way down. Would have been quicker for me just to drop down and then chop it from the bottom. But I like doing things the hard way, clearly. So if we do that... And then that should be going to... Why is water coming out of there? Um, can you stop for a second? Yeah, I don't understand why water is flowing out from there. The half slab is somehow waterlogged, okay. Because, uh, yeah, that's apparently a thing. Do that. Can we get our half slab back? Oh, let's use Acacia, just because we got it on us. And then that should have our drops go across the ice into our waterway. And then... Come on. I need some blocks on me. Okay. So we need to block in... What section? Probably going to drop down and build back up from there anyway, so... Let's just say block in from here and one like a so and like a so like a so. Um, oh yes, you can you stop for a second? No, 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 no. I put a block there. Stop with the bubbles. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, can you uh stop with the elevator because I need to fix that. Come on, hurry up and finish. God, that's annoying. I got stuck halfway up this chute when I was testing it out before as well, which is really annoying. You know, we could just swim sprint down. Okay. So, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, hopefully that should have done the trick. But we've got cactus sitting on the edge there. Now hopefully one will drag that along. And then carry it on into the water stream. Because otherwise they're just going to start collecting and stacking up. Okay, no. They're coming in. That's alright. And then we should have cactus. Thank you. And then we can throw the rest in there. So that's our elevator and our items sort of done. And then what happens with this is after these chests are full and then hoppers are full... These ones will start picking it up and it will start feeding through these two. So that is all happy days there. Can we get another few of a cactus shooting up please? Just to ensure that it's working. I get really jumpy considering... Well, jumpy, I think that's the wrong word. But with the stupid particles that come off of me, when I'm looking for stuff 
coming through these water streams, I always think that the particles is an item flying up when it clearly isn't. So I really am hoping that they bring out a sort of no particles texture pack that you can put on. Oh, there's a cactus, it's flying up. We're going to have to put a cover on the top, otherwise it's going to go flying everywhere. Yeah, I really hope they bring out like a no particles thing that uh, I've got one on Windows 10 version that gets rid of the part potion particles. Pa -pa -pa -pa. Yep, potion particles. <laughs> And it is extremely good, and especially when you're working non-stop in areas that have beacon effects. The particles are a little bit stupid. Like how is that not an option? I know there's an option for particles that you can turn them down. And even if I turn them all the way down, I still get the potion particles, which makes no sense whatsoever. But yeah, um, anyway, moving on. The cactus farm is now fully done. What we are going to want to do is clear out a little area around this thing we're probably gonna have to make a little bit of an adjustment to this pathway on the outside here and let's just clear this never rack out of the way and that sea lantern is definitely gonna have to be moved but i've got my cha-ching pickaxe yep <laughs> i started renaming the pickaxes after i lost them like the third time i ended up when i was making them i got a little bit bored so then I started messing around with the different colours and fonts. So you've got like Cha-Ching in big writing. And then we've got Here's Johnny on our axe. Because I was uh, a little bit bored when I was waiting around and combining enchants on different tools to get the decent pickaxes and whatnot. So my plan is, is that we're going to take out the bottom layer of dirt around the edge. We're obviously going to lay it with some sort of andesite or cobblestone. Build up a glass tower sort of up and just a cylinder not a dome on top and then i'm thinking some stone columns of some type with a dark oak and dark prismarine circular capped roof if that makes sense but that's all going to be done in a third person time lapse because it's a lot more fun to watch that way rather than watching me fumble about so i guess i'll crack on with that So it's actually now the following morning and it's the morning of the day I actually want to get the video out on so this is probably going to be our last clip here. Uh, as you probably saw in the time lapse I did actually finish the building although I was very indecisive I'm not sure if you noticed that in the time lapse and the time lapse took so much longer than what it should have done. The building itself probably only took the better part of about 45 minutes maybe an hour to decide and build. But the interruptions of one, the server restarting, and then the fact there was other people on, I couldn't keep on asking everyone to go to sleep if they was busy. So I was sort of waiting for night time to pass each time it came, and then when the night time stopped, it was raining and it was grey, so recording was pretty much a nuisance to try to see anything decent. And yeah, it was just one thing after another like that that sort of held me up on actually finishing it. But I did finally manage to come up with a design that I was that I'm quite happy with. Um, the issues that I was running into is this orange acacia rings going around. I wanted to implement the orange into the build somewhere, just so it's got the same sort of block palette as this build over here. And I'm quite happy with it. I couldn't figure out what to do with the half slabs. Initially, I did have the andesite half stabs going around that did not look fantastic with the andesite columns and it looked very very gray dull and miserable so i wanted to add a bit of color and then when i've done the orange ring around i couldn't figure out how to do 
the sort of intersecting columns because obviously I wanted the columns broken up and then I ended up choosing to put some acacia logs in there just to make it so it's like joists sort of holding up sections of orange wood or the acacia wood shall I say so that's now running all the way around it then I sort of done an indent pattern on the flat sides of the acacia so it goes up down up down and I was quite happy with the way that turned out and then the roof was another whole issue that I couldn't try it for, well, I couldn't really figure out how to make it round. Now, I'm still not 100% happy with it. So, what I may do is actually have another run at it at some point. Uh, like, I was just doing it coming in in rings, but then it was looking very, very pointy, which is what I didn't want to happen. What I may end up having to do is actually bring this block in by one and maybe bring these two blocks in. Um, maybe. I'm not too sure like I'm seriously not too happy with the way the roof has come out I'm quite happy with the sort of shape and size of it but as opposed to yeah I wanted to come up a little bit more and then round and to be honest with you I actually have not got the dark prismarine at hand to be able to have another run at it right this second but we've got one more firework rocket to have a look at it. and it does look quite nice actually it's um it's pretty much what I wanted with this sort of place is that every building is going to be its own sort of individual style compared to the ones around it and this one definitely stands out and I've made sure that it's all lit up at night so we've got sea lanterns on the inside just in between where the acacia logs are so at night time it does light up pretty well and then I've got lighting all the way down running the three sides so you've got this side that side and the other side where we've got sea lanterns running all the way down and it is actually producing pretty well at the moment as you just saw a boost of cactus just coming in there so what we've got here is this guy's all building up now once these chests have filled up what i may end up doing is swapping out these chests for shulkers that way i could just pick up the shulker and take it off to wherever i need it but then after they are full with cactus the cactus will then feed through here we don't want wood Thank you. Um, make sure there's no other garbage in there. So once that's all full, this should then feel down into this one. And then what will happen is it will fill up the composter. And then when the compost is full, it will fill down and then we'll get bone meal. So it's sort of like two birds, one stone sort of farm now. And because there's no redstone or anything like that involved in, the, in it, and I'm not using redstone for the sorting system, we're just using basic copper chain and it's just doing its normal logic things in feeding through feeding down before it feeds along and then it's all working out great but uh yeah i think that's all there is to explain on now in between i was about to say this cut and the next one nope this is the last cut i'm afraid in between this episode and the next one i will be shifting this entire setup of chess and elevator over by about a good two to three blocks because as you can see this is butting up right against the edge of our actual build which i'm not happy with and i want at least two to three blocks in between the builds so what will probably happen is that this entire structure shape will probably be shifted over here this one will probably be gotten rid of and then we'll have some sort of fountain or monument type deal in this corner here because this is going to end up being too small for an actual build so yeah, that's uh, my plans going forward with this, but hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Um, it's a little bit of a combination of two. One is that I've got a farm up and running that I actually wanted to really get up and running. And I'm quite happy the way that it's come out. It's actually producing relatively quickly for a cactus farm, considering that I think there's like 15 or 16 layers of 21. So I'm not going to try to do maths because it's very early for me and uh, my brain then is probably kicking to gear at about midday so maths is definitely not a thing that I do in the mornings. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the time lapse. Hopefully it came out alright because uh, there was a lot of breaks so it's going to require a little bit of editing. I know the record time was something like 2 to 3 hours but the build time was only about 40 to 45 minutes so hopefully it comes out alright. Yeah, really do. I hope it does. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode and I hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.